I'm like, caught up with if they were in each other's okay. I just <laughs> Sam, I mean, I would struggle with shaving my head. <laughs> Sam would struggle with trying to see into his bathroom mirror because it's set for Sam. I'd have to like, I'd have to jump. Like order, like ordering food at a, at, over the counter at the bank. Be like, excuse me, can I get the happy meal? A lot of people don't know this, but the, the episode Swap Meat. Originally, that was about Sam and Dean switching bodies. Yes. The original draft was Sam and Dean switch bodies, at least for like 10, 15 minutes of it. And the writers, I think, properly kind of figured that it could be a jump the shark moment. Um, so they had to switch, or they had me switch with Gary instead. Yeah. Are you talking about the sex? <laughs> I make Rob go out first. <laughs> I get all the booze. Richard, what did you do? And I just come out here to see. Oh, what, what is happening? Oh my God! What, when did that, when Listen, did that happen? I don't know. I don't. This is not. This is not something to be proud of. <laughs> this is that, that's his director voice. That's what we were talking about. <laughs> Jensen. Jensen. Put it down. Put it down. I'm do my that's his director so voice, Jensen. Jensen, you don't know that. You know what it is? It's in cooking, they call that a reduction. It just, it really, it, it just concentrates it to, it's basically it, it, the best form possible. You know they say, you know they say when somebody whispers, you have to listen? That's like the whisper. That's so when somebody plays a non-existent tambourine, yeah, you're gonna hear it. About. It's right there. The, can I just how? <laughs> can, can I can I a, a follow-up question? Why? <laughs> I, I, I have a follow-up to that. When? <laughs> well, oh, that was over there. <laughs> you know what? Somebody just screamed it out. They're right. Hashtag blame the bus. <laughs> How could you two always smell? Well, no, it, let's be honest. I didn't start a bit. You started really going off a little uncomfortably. But well, someone like, said, what's your favorite smell? And I was like, it turns out it's you. <laughs> uh, I walk into a, a department just, store and go by the, the cologne section and go, Jensen. <laughs> uh, but, and this morning he said, you in the back will know when Jensen and, Jensen and Jared are here because you'll get the musk. That takes like three seconds of travel. Yeah, I was, I was explaining to them that the, I, I was explaining the, the, the manly, lumbersexual musk of Jared and Jensen will roll over this room. And they'll, be, and, they'll, and they'll be back there going, they're so good looking, but I don't really smell the musk. <laughs> And our bit went into the street where people driving by are like, oh, there must be some kind of convention in town. Sir, I'm going to have to write you a ticket because you know. The news camera like, we're live on the street. There seems to be some kind of commotion down here. Mine's a board director, by the way. professional. So it's been a bit of a thing. And now people are going to blame all of their shortcomings in life on the musk. Blame the musk. Shit goes wrong, hashtag blame the musk. Yeah, normally, it would have held together. It just kind of disintegrated in my hand, and I didn't really know what... Yes, the tambourine went... They're like existing, exist. Oh yeah. Can't, can't hold form anymore. I love it. I'm officially blaming the bus. I love. I love that this is how simple molecules exist. Existing, existing. Oh. Well, they're bouncing into each other. 
Yeah, you know, they're doing their electron bit. So. Oh, yes. <laughs> existing, existing. <laughs> Just do what molecules do, existing. Existing, existing. Do the molecule. It's, it's the dance craze. And now with their hit song, Blame It on the Musk, here's Loud and Swain. favorite Boston stories, which is I was at Logan Airport ready to go after a long trip, and the, uh, the, the, the attendant, the, the, I think, believe it was United. If you're 16 and under, prepare to cover your ears when, when I gesture. Well, yeah, just bleep me out. So anyway, this they're, is they're listening live. They can't just bleep you out. I'll bleep, I'll bleep, bleep them out. out. Okay. So anyway, she's behind the counter. And she's, she's a wise woman. And she, uh, a little, it's, we've had a delay, and now we've had to move gates, and it's just- it's Logan Airport delay? Whatever do you mean? I know, right? <laughs> so anyway, we finally, the aircraft finally arrives, and she feels the need to address the waiting passengers for the, new, for the plane that's now arrived, and they, they get a deboard and this whole thing. So she picks up the mic to the terminal and says, uh, all right, everybody. Listen up, when everybody's coming off the plane, I want you to, I want you to blood, get on the plane, don't beep around with your bags, and sit down. 